Stephanie Spencer, Sirius XM NASCAR Radio and CatchFence.com. Good morning. Morning. Um, I'm curious, you're a kid that grew up in High Point, but you've traveled the world. Still, when you walk out of your hotel and you, you see a city of this magnitude, you know you're going to race a race car in it. How long does it just kind of take you to grasp kind of the largesse of this whole thing? Um, yeah, I mean, it. Uh, I'll be honest, I was on the skeptical side last year before we came here. I was like, how are we going to make this work and something new? And you're always kind of nervous of new things and, and how it's going to go. And uh, I remember John and I were having lunch last year before practice and right outside our hotel and right by the racetrack. And I'm like, this is super cool that we're having lunch. I'm about to go walk over a block and go practice in a city like this. And, you know, Lake Michigan's right behind you. And uh, you got the high rises right here. And, and it's weird going down the straightaways, kind of the back stretch and front stretch, if you will, just looking at the museums and buildings. And I try not, you try not to focus on that too much. You're like, I got to pay attention to what I'm doing. But um, it is neat. I mean, and I think it, uh, it took me that day to kind of grasp and once you like get here and you get you know kind of affiliated with everything and, and understand what's what's going on and it's a big deal I mean, it's a really big deal that we're here and hopefully the city enjoys it i think they did last year and i think they will even more this year and uh, but yeah it, it took me getting here and like experiencing the whole thing and being in it to really appreciate it and um i think it's 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 really neat. I don't know what the future holds for styles like this, but uh, I definitely think there's opportunity to, to continue doing something like this, you know, once a year or so. Um, but yeah, it's it's neat. I never would have thought, I talked to my dad about it last year, and he's like, I never would have thought y'all would go here, like never in his wildest dreams. So um, it's just never know what's going to happen, what's on the horizon. So.